So many of you have questions on Anki Analytics. So today I'm literally just gonna walk you through everything about analytics and hope it helps. So let's get to it. All right, so go ahead and open up Anki. And when you do that, it may not look exactly like this, but I'm going to take you to a thing that does. But before I do that, I want to show you that this is the, my main deck, this one legend deck. Um, and I've broken it down into clerkships and preclinical. Um, and as I said, I talk about the organization of my decks in the video up here. But um, we're not going to talk about that today. What we're going to talk about is understanding the analytics behind a deck. Because this is the deck that I use um, most I want to understand the analytics behind this one. So today I've actually done no cards. I have 724 reviews, 26 new, um, and you can tell that I've pretty much been going pretty hard at this deck. But when I want to actually analyze this deck, you click on this tool on the top right, and this will pop up. This is the analytics, and I'm actually going to walk you through what I understand of it. Um, so the first one is just a forecast. This is future. This is telling you about 30 days in the future and what you're expecting to see. So for example, today I have about 700 cards due, and that's actually what it's showing right here, right? I just showed you that on zero days, which is today, I have about 760 cards due, and that's what it's kind of showing you. Tomorrow... I will have 623 cards due. So tomorrow, assuming I do all of my Anki today, and assuming I don't press again on any of them, and I don't make them show up tomorrow, then tomorrow this will be 623 cards due. This number, however, can get higher, because as I do cards today, I might have to make some of them due tomorrow, and that way, instead of 623 here, you might see 624, 625. Sometimes I've had days initially when I start that um, the amount due is like around... 600 and then by the end of the day it's like 800 just because i had so many cards i had to get through um so that's that the total is basically saying if you add up all the cards that i have to do and notice that this is kind of like a um decreasing curve if you add everything up from day zero which is today to 30 days in the future i'll have about 7975 reviews and then you divide that by the number of days which is about 30 and you'll get that this on average is about 257.3 reviews per day is what you'd have to do and that's what those numbers mean um, as i said this isn't entirely accurate because sometimes when you do reviews you make them due in the future and so you're kind of like going to have these numbers change dynamically, but it kind of just gives you an idea. The different colors here are indicative of the mature versus uh, young. So young cards are those that have an interval from 0 to 21. So if I press again on a card, that would be a young card. If I do like, um, if I see a card and I, you know how there's always like three options, one, two, and three, and the middle option is less than 21 days, usually it means that it's a young card. If the middle option is more than 21 days, that means it's a mature card because the next time you'll see that card is in three weeks. So that means you know the card well enough that it's kind of considered mature. Okay, so that's what this forecast graph means. This graph is a little confusing also, but I'll walk you through it. It basically tells you the number of mature, young, relearn, and learn cards that you did every day in the last 20, I think 30 days. So notice the graph at the bottom here is in negatives, so it tells you about the past. Today I've done no cards, that's why you see nothing here. But let me first start by defining each of these. I already told you mature card. So a mature card is a card that has an interval of greater than 21 days when you do the Anki card. So. Um, this right here shows me that I did this percent of my cards yesterday were about mature cards. Young cards are those that have fewer than 21 days in their interval, but you've seen them before. So anything that has an interval less than 21 days, you'll be considered a young card. And I have a lot more of those because obviously young cards are those that you don't know as often, so they don't show up as frequently. Relearn cards are those that used to be mature and then they became young because you forgot them. That happens all the time. It happens to me a lot. But basically, every day I have a certain number of relearn cards. And learn cards are basically cards that you've never seen before, that you're seeing for the first time, that you're just starting to learn. So you'll see yesterday I actually didn't learn any cards because I didn't have time. I had over like 12, 1400 cards that I just needed to get through. Um, and so I didn't spend time and learning any new cards. But you'll see on certain days I spend a lot more time learning cards. And on certain days I spend a lot more time reviewing cards. That's that. The things here, day study, it just tells you of the last 30 days, <laughs> what what frequency of days did you actually use Anki? You'll see on some days I don't use Anki, and that's because I like heavy load the day before, or I pre or I go um, 
the day after and I do a lot more. Like for example, on this day I didn't do as much Anki, but then this day I did way more and then I had to do way more on the day after that because I had to compensate. Um, it's telling me over the last 30 days I've done 26,000 reviews and then it's just dividing by the last 30 days to give me the numbers here. In this case it's dividing by 28 days because it thinks I only studied for 28 days, but it's saying if I had studied for 30 days I would have done <laughs> fewer reviews per day. It's kind of incentivizing you to study every day. All right. This is telling you about the review time. This is telling you about the time that you spend on each of the cards. And this graph is also for the last 30 days. So it's saying, again, I studied 93% of the days. I studied 28 out of the last 30 days. I studied for 4,168 minutes, which on average is about two hours per day. Um, if I studied for every day, it's kind of saying, again, the whole thing, I studied for 28. If you had studied for 30 days instead, you would have had to study less per day. It's kind of kind of guilt consciousing you. Um, and it's also telling me the number of um, cards per minute that I usually do, which is about 6.4. Um, and the way it does that is it just adds up all the number of cards you did and divides it by the total number of time. And that's pretty much right here. Um, so right here, it kind of tells you the amount of time that I spent. So for example, when you're learning cards, you're seeing cards for the first time and you've never seen them before, you'll spend a big chunk of time just spend, like trying to learn those cards. Other times, um, when you have a lot of cards, you'll spend much, you usually spend the least amount of time on mature cards because you know mature cards, you've seen them before. You spend a lot more time on young cards because you don't know them as well, so you kind of need to solidify them. And sometimes you spend a decent amount of time on relearning cards just because I have 14,000 cards. Of course, there's going to be uh, times when I forget cards and I need to relearn them. Um, so that's that. This is just the number of cards I've added sometimes. So in this case, I added 422 cards over the last 30 days. Um, and I had, that's about 14.1 cards per day. Sometimes this is not exactly accurate for me because I don't always create cards. Sometimes I take cards from another deck and I add it into this deck. And that's not technically adding a card because you didn't create it. You just transferred it. But the point being, this just tells you the number of cards that you've added. Um, and the, this like line is a cumulative representation. So it uh, shows you 422. These bar graphs are individual days um, and tells you how much you added per day. So for example, yesterday I didn't add any cards. Um, but the day before that, I added almost um, 20. So right here, I added almost 20 cards. And on this side, it shows you that brought my cumulative up to about 420. Okay. Um, all right. Um, this is just telling you about intervals. Uh, I actually don't look at this graph all that much. So I don't actually know it. If you guys use this car, this graph and you know more about it, feel, feel free to comment below. Same with this one. I don't use this one that much either because <laughs> I don't really mind. I don't really like analyzing hour to hour. I'm more of like a days person. And so that's what those two graphs are. I don't actually know them that well. And these, these are this graph and this bottom graph are really interesting just because this tells you the percent that you're getting correct based on learning. Um, young and mature cards. So learning cards, as I said, are cards you've never seen before that you're seeing for the first time. And usually what one, two, and three represent is when you have those three options in Anki, the one is usually the again, the two is usually the middle one, and the three is the one where it's like, you know it really well. I'll, I'll show you, I'll include a picture of those in the bottom, but basically one, two, and three correspond to those options. Sometimes they have a four for young cards, and that basically shows you what I press. So you'll see that I'm actually really conservative. I very, very rarely will press four or three because that would imply that I know it really well. Usually what I'm pressing is a two, which means the middle space bar. Um, and same with even in young cards, what I'm usually pressing is a two or a three. I rarely ever press four, which would mean that I really know it well. And same with mature cards. I'm usually pressing a two or three, but believe it or not, because I have so many mature cards at this point, I actually press one a lot on mature cards because even if I'm second guessing myself a little bit, I'm like, I don't care. I probably don't know this card as well as I should, so I should relearn it. And that's that. Um, and this right here, this bottom part, tells you um, the card types that are in this deck. So first of all, it shows you I have about 14,000 cards. Of the 14,000, 72% are mature, which means they have an interval greater than 21 days. And about 3,700 are young, which means they have an interval fewer than 21 days. Um, I have not seen 26 of the cards yet because there's 26 new cards in this deck that I haven't seen yet. And I've suspended, which means I don't ever want to see those cards again, about 124 cards. And sometimes I'll suspend cards just because they're crappy cards and I'm like, this is a horrible card and I don't want to see it again. And I don't want to delete it. So I'll just suspend it. Um, so that's Anki Analytics for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, um, leave a comment, like, uh, and subscribe. And um, let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace!